I decided that the desert car would need one more thing before I headed down to the dunes and I ordered this uh, turning brake from uh, CIP1 CIP1.com They're an outfit in California that supplies Volkswagen parts and uh, I wanted to get a cutter brake. I shopped around. This was the best price that I saw on them. I wasn't expecting too much, but I am just thrilled with what showed up. And this is a 5 8 bore. If you're running drum brakes and want a cutter brake, uh, 5 8 would probably be the one to go. They usually sell these in uh, three different sizes now. Uh, 5 8 3 quarter, and 7 8 If you have a aftermarket aluminum disc brake setup that is uh, a two piston actually it's one piston two pucks you know just a pair on both sides you would probably want to go with the three quarter if you've got two on each side the four piston uh, heavy duty brakes then you would probably want to go with the seven eighths in case you're thinking about which size is the right one for your setup and basically you're moving fluid the disc brakes generally uh, have more volume, so you, you get the bigger bore cylinders. This is for the stock uh, wheel cylinders on the back. You don't have front brakes on these cars, so uh, this is probably going to be adequate. We'll see when we get it put in. Um, this comes, this was like 50 bucks. I um, hope sand prices doesn't screw somebody up. <laughs> uh, they're having a special right now, so if you're interested, you might want to check them out. I might even order a second one for a different car. This handle was 20 bucks, so together you were looking at like 70 bucks, 79 bucks, whatever it was. I can't remember. Uh, it's on the receipt right here in the box. And the cool thing is, I thought this handle is going to match my JMR shifter handle. So that's going to be kind of neat, and I think I'm going to put it between the seats. I personally have used single cutter brakes for the last 20 some years. I'm used to single handle. I push for the right, I pull for the left, and that's in my muscle memory, and I ain't changing to nothing else. And I don't build my cars to make it uh, comfortable for somebody else to drive. A lot of people go through a lot of effort. They make adjustable seats and adjustable pedal assemblies. If you got a family member and you're sharing the same car, I guess that makes sense, but I build my car. Uh, I want it as light as possible, simple as possible. Most of that stuff plugs up with sand, uh, seat sliders and stuff like that. So uh, I just make it so the ergonomics right for me. If somebody else is going to drive my car, they're just going to have to adapt to uh, the little stumpy old man that owns it. <laughs> so when you order this kit, uh, they have 8th inch pipe threads over here. And pipe thread is a uh, tapered thread that tightens up. And what you're going to need to do is run your brake line through it. Now I have an aftermarket master cylinder, which is probably 8th inch pipe. So I'm going to have to put one of these adapters, which is 8th inch pipe by US 3 double flare brake line. So I'll put one of these in the master cylinder, and I'll put the other one in the back here this feeds both of them someplace in that line I'll put my br fluid pressure brake light switch because um, that's what I got and then I'm gonna run from the wheel cylinder on the left side to one of these and then the bubble metric brake line from the other wheel cylinder to the other one now I'm going to have to cut the other end off and make a double flare. I do not know how to make a bubble flare and I didn't see bubble flare uh, metric adapters. So I'm going to have to, on two of those lines, I'm going to have to, to cut them and flare them to fit in the side. And that's what these adapters are. And they just came like this, six on the card. So it never hurts to have a spare in case you screw one up or maybe you're out there and a friend has a problem too. So uh, what else did I get? If you buy a hundred dollars worth of stuff you got free shipping and I thought that was cool and there's always stuff with as many cars as I have so I got some of these inch and five eighths uh, fiber gaskets for my exhaust flanges. Uh, on the last car 
on my 2110, I've tried those copper flanges that are copper with a little notch on both sides and those worked out real good but I didn't see those on their website so uh, I got these instead and what else did I get I got some inch and a half because I have inch and a half headers and sometimes on your headers if you're using J tubes uh, and I have these types of headers I, I got these uh, uh, stock style but these are the good German ones that have the uh, woven uh, metal seals and these work much better than those imitation asbestos fiber seals that uh, are pretty common out there and a lot of they'll work for a while if everything is in in just perfect alignment and set up right uh, they'll work pretty good uh, stock stuff is inch and three eighths and and you can put a, like an inch and a half J-tube you can stretch them a little bit and they'll work but these are real nice and I, I decided to get that and that was it there's a hundred dollar bill right there and uh, we're gonna put that in when uh, I feel like it <laughs> I, or I might not put it in at all I'm kind of enjoying things I ordered a super diff from uh, Apple Tree, a different company, because uh, the the close ratio transmission that's in the car now, I'm just using a standard differential, and you only have two planetary gears, and it really strengthens it up if you've got four planetary gears making contact inside that differential. You're not that's usually the weak point of a rear end or the differential is the planetary gears, so. Um, I ordered that. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll check it out when I get here and decide whether I want to uh, put that in. I won't have to completely disassemble the transmission to install that. All I'll have to do is pull out the ring gear and the differential uh, housing and then get my backlash uh, adjusted with the new setup. That could be a pain. But uh, yeah, we'll see when that gets here in the next week or so, I hope. So. Uh, that's what's going on at uh, the Easy Jeezy shop, and I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy Jeezy, out.